so what is up red pen winning here how you guys all doing i hope y'all doing really well and having a really great day in this video i just want to give you guys an update of my ib link bm k1 asic miner and you guys know i got this back in about december 9th about in 2020 and i've been mining on it ever since and i've been keeping track of the profits how much kda essentially that we've been mining uh, for the past two months and for those that are new and don't know what i'm talking about this is an asic miner that mines cadena or kda for short and it does about 5.3 terahash per second at about 835 watts so yeah it sounds pretty good right sounds pretty good but you know throughout this video i'm yeah gonna talk about you know how much i've mined for the past two months exactly and also we're gonna talk about you know the political side of asic mining and specifically this ib link bmk1 and along with some other stuff <laughs> throughout this video guys so hopefully you enjoy and going along guys i do have a playlist of all of my asic mining videos you guys know recently I also just got a A10 Pro 7 gigabyte 750 mega hash ASIC miner and I am going to be doing a one month profit video about that in about uh, eight days or so so stay tuned for that video and yeah I have a bunch of other ASIC mining videos and yeah I'm going to talk about all that later on but yeah these videos would not be possible if it wasn't for CryptoMinerBros.com they have sent me ASIC miners you guys know they sent me the Z15 uh, the A10 Pro 5 gigabyte the 7 gigabyte and the Ivy Link BMK1 which we are going to talk about so in the first First month profit video just to let you guys know I was mining about 5139 KDA in the first month and at that time all right at that at that time of that video about on January uh, 10th I think that's when I recorded it in USD value it was about $727 okay and Kadena at that time was about 14 cents USD Okay, and now total for the past two months, we have mined combined 7,904 KDA. So I'm going to copy this. We are going to go to CoinGecko, and you guys can see the price of Kadena now is 30 cents. And you guys know my strategy that I talked about in the first video, well, I think uh, when I was talking about the IB link, that uh, you guys voted that I should mine KDA into Bitcoin. And uh, I pretty much didn't listen to anybody and I wanted to do something risky, you know, just gamble and see if Kadena would potentially go up in price. And luckily it did. It did. And look at this all together. All the KDA that I've mined for the past two months now is worth about twenty four hundred dollars USD now. That is. Is crazy right that is really crazy and to give some also perspective of why you know Kadena has gone up is because other altcoins in the cryptocurrency market now has gone up as well okay and it's not just KDA and as you guys know another thing that benefits my testing right now is the fact that Bitcoin and Ethereum and all pretty much all the coins top 100 top 200 all the altcoins generally have been going up I mean, the reasons why I'm able to essentially try to get the, you know, initial investment back, like theoretically here, right? Crypto Miner Bros sent it to me and uh, the price at that time, all right, I got the first batch December 9th or 8th. And at that time, it was worth about thirty five or thirty six hundred dollars USD. So that is the theoretical price we are trying to achieve uh, to get this, you know, ROII or, you know, break even point on the IB link BMK one. I'm trying to do a real test here to see, you know, if I can break even or not. But again, there's a lot of things that are really going for me right now. Like cryptocurrency is going up pretty lucky that I'm getting these ASICs during these times as the price is going up. So you guys can see here, like, yeah, in two months, $2,400 USD. If, if I were to sell right now into Bitcoin and obviously uh, sell into fiat, dirty old fiat. And as we all know, uh, everything, all the coins are pegged to Bitcoin. And so that's how we get this uh, fiat value here. Okay, so there you guys go. That's the two month profitability of my uh, IB link BMK one. And yeah, it's this thing is quite interesting. Again, very, very risky. You know, I had absolutely no idea that KDA would go up in price. Like who knew, right? I, I was doing I'm, I was I totally gambled. And you guys can see here, actually, another thing we should test out here. I don't know why I went to Bitcoin here. I'm going to go back to KDA. And uh, I just want to do a theoretical thing here, okay? Um, so 7904 KDA so far. I'm going to copy that and we're going to go, oh, we're going to copy this USD value here. 
We're gonna go to the calculator. I'm just gonna type that in. Gonna go divided by 60 days. So so about two months, all right? Two months exactly as of recording this video. So this IB Link BMK1 has been mining for about forty dollars USD every day for me. All right, I, I'm averaging as of now, okay, as of being lucky as the price of KDA is high, that I kind of theoretically have been mining at about forty dollars a day or so. And yeah, you guys can see here, right? There's been some days where it's not $40, obviously. Like, uh, looks like in between January, it was like $20, $18 or so, and so on and so forth. But you can see February 2nd, it was like 38 And yeah, going along, it looks like it's still generally doing pretty good. And if we're trying to compare it to other ASIC miners out there, it's, uh, let's see here, where's the iBlink? Yeah, here it is, iBlink BMK1, $33 a day, okay? So... But according to uh, ice mining, so I've been, I've been mining about, I think, averaging about 95 KDA every day uh, for the past month or so averaging. So if we just did 95, so it says here about $28 USD. So I, I've actually been getting less than what is projected on ASIC miner value. So I think ASIC miner value could be wrong. Actually, if we go type in um, IB link BMK1 what to mine. And if we go to what to mine, what to mine is usually pretty good. And uh, okay, yeah, it says $32 a day in profit and about 116 KDA a day. Okay, so looks like I've I've been getting less KDA on mining to ice mining uh, .ca. Uh, so maybe I should move to another pool or something. But honestly, I'm not mad. I mean, if, if, I've, if I mine this much so far... <laughs> And it looks like KDA is going down right now as of recording this video. But yeah, you know, KDA has gone up in the past 30 days here. Yeah, look at this chart from 16 or 18 cents all the way up to about 30 cents from February uh, 1st to February 3rd. Okay, so there's a big jump there. I don't know how much percentage big that is, but that's that's a pretty decent jump. And now it's even, it went up even higher, like 32 cents. So so as, you know, cryptocurrency is going up, it it pretty much works in my favor. And for anyone else who bought the first batch of this ASIC miner, that most likely uh, these people are probably going to break even. Uh, but I'll, I'll let you guys know. So so just to correlate that with the other ASICs that I've had, guys, and now this is where I'm going to like talk about the political side of ASIC miners. So, you know, you guys know I have the Z, I had the Z15. I still have it. And I have the Innosilicon A10 Pro. And those two, I was able to essentially, you know, break even uh, after around four months. Okay, the Z, the Z15 was about four months break even or return on initial investment. And then the uh, Innosilicon A10 Pro, the five gigabyte, I was able to uh, break even in about, uh, let me just see here. I think it was about three months or four months. And yeah, the, that those were really good. Like those are really good. But obviously the reasons why I was able to break even on those is because you guys all know Bitcoin went to all time highs and Ethereum as well. And altcoins in general have been going up as well. Okay, so that really worked into my favor. And actually, if I just go to the Bitcoin chart here, just to give some like perspective here. Okay, so if we just go back like max here. You know, the, the stigma against ASIC miners, ASIC mining in general, is that, you know, ASICs turn, eventually turn into bricks. And, you know, those arguments really happened during, I would say, the bear market of between 2018, 2019, even early 2020. Because, you know, there there's a bunch of ASIC miners out there. Now let's just go to ASIC miner value again. Um, you know, that, that were released during those times, right? There's like Strong U, Canon... Uh, uh, let's see, uh, eBay, Gold Shell, all these, all these brands, uh, Fusion, Obelisk, uh, Bitmain, uh, Bitmain had some ASICs definitely released during those times, and, uh, a whole bunch of these other ones, like, I don't, I've never even heard of, but I think Baikals are pretty known as well, uh, but, you know, those came about during those times, and that was during a time when, you know, the bear market was at play here, look at this, Bitcoin was, was pretty much down the dumps, you know, really, this is the bear market and altcoins just took a deep dive way down, right? So it's no doubt that those ASICs that were released during these times that were, they were just not profitable because it was during the bear market. And look at, and then look at it now, right? Look at how Bitcoin's been going up parabolically for the past half year. And you can see here, or not half year, maybe past couple months. 
And then you can see now, look at the profitability of all of these ASICs that you see on this list. Look at this. Uh, let's just go to like here. Bitmain Antminer G2 released December 2017. Still makes $3.43 a day. Okay, uh, let's keep going down this list here. Uh, Bitmain L3 Plus June 2017 makes $2 a day. And that is even at 10 cents kilowatt hour. Okay, I have that here, 10 cents kilowatt hour. And just crazy, right? Like these these numbers, as people were saying, you know, ASIC miners going to bricks. You know, I you know it's true, it's true. Okay, I I totally believe it. I, I'm a huge GPU miner at heart. I'm not like full on ASIC miner, but I truly believe in terms of a a point of view of like as we all know, I think everyone is in it for in some type of financial aspect. You know, uh, financial freedom, passive income, what have you. Uh, ASICs are, in my opinion, they can be great. But it really depends on the time that you get in into ASIC mining, okay? And look at this. It's like, like I said, during the bear market, buying ASICs, obviously not profitable, right? You probably went through this list during those times and it's just like all red. Like all of these ASICs are just unprofitable. But now, now you can see that even the some ASICs back in 2017 are generally still profitable. And 2018 as well. And miner E3, 190 mega hash. That says three dollars here, but I think it's mining uh, uh, ETC hash now, and yeah, just there's a whole bunch of other ones here. Generally okay, but are there people still mining with these? Ebang, Ebit, E12. I don't. I have no idea. Like these are all ASICs that I. I don't really know much about ASICs to be honest. But Crypto Miner Bros, you guys know they've been sending me ASICs. Uh, I've been learning as I go, and uh, and like the Innosilicon A11s that were just announced. Oh my God, look at this. This thing makes. $188 a day right now, but 2,500 watts and two giga hash on Ethereum. So again, it's very risky, okay? Buying ASICs for sure can be very risky. But again, guys, if you're buying these ASICs now, you, you got to make sure that you believe that cryptocurrency is still going to go up or stay at these levels. Because I don't know if these, <laughs> we all know, right? In history that the these tops don't last that long. And we're, we're potentially probably going to have a bear market sooner or later. I don't know when, not financial advice, but, you know, it just depends, right? It really just depends. I, I got really lucky, to be honest. I'm just telling you guys, like, I'm really lucky. And Crypto Miner Bros, they've been sending me ASICs during, during the time when uh, crypto was starting to go back up. Okay, so I think the first ASIC miner I got from Crypto Miner Bros was the uh, Z or Z15. I think that's right. Or the Inner Silicon A10 Pro, I don't remember. But it was during these times, during August, September, when I got those. And, you know, mining during that time was still, was really profitable, right? So I, for me, I didn't get into ASIC mining during 2017, 2018, 2019, uh, beginning of 2020. Like, I never had ASICs during these times. So my experience with having ASICs and being, and being bricks I never had that experience, okay? But there are plenty of other people out there that had that experience, all right? Um, just other ASIC miners out there that have eventually turned into bricks. And if we type in like an Atminer S9, for example, like it's crazy. These things have been released now for uh, three three years. Look at this, 2017, like the regular 14 terahash, November 2017. I mean, it only makes a dollar twenty seven a day, but hey, Look at that. It's still something, right? But yeah, the, they're really not efficient anymore. I, I wouldn't advise getting an S9 if if you guys are wondering. But look at that. It's it's due. It, this is only due. Like all this profit numbers, uh, the profitability in the positive is only due because the market has gone up. Okay? All right. That That's it. That, that's it, right? And yeah, I, I can't stress that enough because mining, it really depends what time you're mining and if you're unlucky and you know it's just it's just timing guys it, it really honestly that's it that's it like mining asics they turn into bricks you know and uh, the other argument is okay another side of asic mining is you know they're very centralized okay uh, that's a that's a whole other thing i don't want to get into but again the reasons why people get in, all of us get into mining in my opinion is to make money okay it's the same it's the same idea same principle you're buying asics to buy to get money you're buying gpus to make money I mean, generally, in the end, it's to make money, right? So, depends how you look at it. Either you care about a certain coin due to network security, uh, the fundamental aspect of it, centralization, decentralization, all that kind of things, or you're in it to make money.
And let's not kid ourselves. I think most of us in this space are in it to make money. And I'm, I'm, when I'm not, I'm not going to lie to myself about that. Okay. Or, or to you guys about that. Like, let's be honest here. Let's, let's just be honest here. Right. ASICs have been in the game now for a long time. They're still in the game. Very much so. You guys know Bitcoin. Bitcoin is the biggest proof of work network that is into ASIC mining. Okay. You know, you guys know there's hundreds of thousands of warehouses out there mining Bitcoin. They have all these thousand dollar ASICs out there. It's, <laughs> it's just, yeah, I, I'm going to end it there, guys. I don't know if I, I really explained myself thorough in terms of getting into ASIC mining or realizing, you know, it, yeah, ASICs can be bricks, but again, it's all due to what time you're mining, getting your initial investment or break even on the hardware. And then after that, you can do whatever you want, right? You're, you're essentially just making money off of that. And, you know, there's plenty of people that do this as a business, right? ASIC miners, in my opinion, if you're doing, if you're going commercial, it makes sense. It makes sense to go ASIC mining. Like, like if you're doing it as a business, you're going to make a profit, right? And uh, pay for your expenses and all that stuff. Running the network, you know, depends how you look at it. Okay, my friends, thanks for watching. Yeah, let me know what you think. And uh, yeah, let me know about KDA, the uh, almost 8,000 KDA that I've mined so far. And uh, I'm hoping that KDA will go up even more. All right, not financial advice, but we'll see. We'll see. I'll see you guys in the three-month profit video. And hopefully uh, we can actually break even on it. Okay, so I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good one and peace out.